I'm gonna go over to the storage unit and I'm gonna find any decorations we have. There's like one or two more bins somewhere. It is amazing, it makes your lashes so long. The, guy, the ground guy, yeah, we're putting him on the couch. Okay, here's the candy haul from the Trunk or Treat. Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog today. It's an exciting day today. Evie. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, tell me. So, we're gonna go trunk or treating. Trunk or treating! <laughs> what? Um, can I tell you my ghost fairy? Oh, I gotta go, but maybe you can tell mom. Oh, actually, I woke up late today. It is by the time now, the kids are usually at school. We're still here, okay. so you got to Frank, go. we got to go, and then when I get back, I'll you can tell me the ghost story, story okay? Oh. Here, I'll okay. record the ghost story. Okay. You go to we got to go. Come on. Okay, hey, what's, right this, what's your ghost story? Uh, lights what? turned off. Lights turned off? Yeah. And that was a ghost story? No. Ah, you're so crazy. It's not over. What? And, and then, um... The ghosts all wrecked our house. They wrecked our house? What? Yeah. Frank officially won me at Settlers for the first time today. Like, I was looking at his cards and like encouraging him to buy things, but he was, <laughs> he's getting good, so good. It's actually crazy. And just luck had it that he got to 10 before I did. Fair and square. So <laughs> it's crazy. Mommy. I'm going to use my makeup and get ready and you get to watch me if you want to. <laughs> but I'm going to use all of this stuff I'm using is from Shine and I've fallen in love with all of their stuff. Um, my favorite palette is this, either this Be Humble, I've actually really been loving their Be Bright one too, right here. I mean these two are just like everyday amazing palettes. So those are my two favorite go-tos. The uh, next one in line of my favorites would be this Be Fortunate because it has these really pretty um, like raspberries and greens. Like this is just, this would be my favorite if I was trying to look a little bit more done up. These are more just like a natural look. So, um, and then this Be True one is really pretty. I feel like there's a lot more purples and warms in there than I normally would just put on my face every day, but I use it when I have that look that I'm going for more of like a smoky or like a dressed up look. Okay, so here we go. First thing I do, I already showered and then I forgot to moisturize. I'm gonna moisturize. And I just use a little bit of Cetaphil, you guys. I'm not fancy with my skincare. Maybe I should be. <laughs> so I just use Cetaphil face wash. Actually, I really have loved all of the ones I've tried. I really like the Smarty skincare line. I just ran out of it and now I have this. So I'm like, I use whatever I have, right? So I haven't found one thing that I'm like, if I, I can only use this and if I use anything else, my skin breaks out. My skin kind of always just is the same. I have breakouts randomly. Usually after I don't wear my makeup, which sounds weird. Like if I skip a couple days of wearing makeup and maybe that's because I think, oh, I didn't put makeup on, I don't need to wash my face. So maybe it's because I'm skipping washing my face at night. <laughs> Could be one of those two things. I'm sure it's probably because I'm not washing, but anyway, first Mommy. thing I do, what? Okay, first thing, after moisturizing, I'm using the Courage. I always go between Empowered or Courage, depending on how tan I am, or they both are a really good match, but right now this Courage one is a little bit closer. If I'm really fair, like towards the end of winter, I use the Empowered. And I even mix them sometimes, but. And I just, I normally put on with the sponge, but I forgot to wash it, so I'm just using my fingers. <laughs> and it feels like a thick lotion. But I think it gives really good coverage. You can already see, like, the red spots on my face look much better. Okay, next thing I do is a concealer. And. My favorite is this Vibrant. And the cool thing about this company 
this isn't sponsored or anything. I do have like an affiliate link I can put in the comments if you guys want to try it because it gives you a good discount and they sometimes have awesome sales and they stack the affiliate codes so they're awesome. But the thing I love about it is all of their stuff has like inspiring, uplifting names like be bright, be humble, be um, fortunate, you know, like and it just works really, really well. I like the end results. I like how long it lasts. And the concealers are in the, and the BB cream. They're just so good. So next they have a bronzer. And what I like about their bronzers, look, they have like a dark and a light side. So you can kind of mix them. Or if you want to have it a little bit darker in certain spots, you can do like just, I just dip into the darker side for my cheekbones. And then on the, like the lighter one has like a shimmer in it. So you can kind of like go on the top and lighten it up a little bit. Anyway, sometimes I get fancy and put it around and like do like a little bit on my nose. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not even sure what my Halloween costume is for the trunk or treat tonight. We'll see. Okay, the next thing I do is a blush. Actually, I don't need that because they have these blush sticks. This one is a crazy color that I usually use for costume makeup, but look at like the difference. This one's really pretty. So these are cool because they're like a cream and you can kind of just like blot a few color blobs on there. And then I take my fingers and I just blend it or you can do a blending brush, but I found my fingers work fast and really good. So, okay. And then actually this is not shine. This is Babe Lash, which I love Babe Lash and it reminds me. I use this brow um, filler. It's called a yeah, brow filler. All you might see brow filler. I use it every day. I love it so much. But it always reminds me to stick on my serum or my conditioner. I don't do it every day, but it is amazing. It makes your lashes so long. I have an affiliate code for that too. April 10, I believe. And there you go. So I love, and I think Shine actually has one like this too, but I just, for some reason, I really love the Bay Blush one. They're very similar in their color and application. This brush just gets a little bit more dry than the Shine one. Um, so, I find that I like this applicator better. Because sometimes I'll show you the difference. But when I run out of this, I will use the Shine Cosmetics one. <clears throat> but I will just use like a different technique of applying it that uh, takes a teeny bit longer. I actually don't know what that is. <clears throat> just forget about that okay on to the next thing my be humble palette okay this middle one is like the seriously the best color I think ever for my skin tone I just love it so much I feel like it's like enough makeup to look like I'm wearing some but like subtle enough to make it just look so natural and it's matte and it's matches I feel like with everything I wear, I just love it so much. So I do that on my lid and then I go in with, sometimes I go in with this little bit of brown on like the upper edge just to kind of blend it in. And then, this is my favorite too, is this top corner. It's a really light highlight color. See how that just pops? It's so pretty. I love this palette so much. And then this one in the corner, it's dug out quite a bit. That's like a little bit. I put it on my lid. I said lid for the humble. That's more my crease line, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. And then I have this little brush that's like an angled brush. Sometimes I'll take these browns and do like a little bit of a liner. See the difference in that? Like, 
Makes a big difference. Okay. So my eyes are basically done. See how easy and fast that is? And then I just do a mascara. Shine has a great mascara. Blush has a great mascara. And then I like this Thrive Cosmetics one. I do not have affiliate code for it. I haven't even asked them for one. I just got it in like a grab bag one time and I fell in love with it because it does not make you have raccoon eyes when you take it off at all. Like it's, I think the removal of it is the reason why I like it. The application, I feel like it's about the same as like all the other ones I just mentioned and like the wearing of it and everything. But when I remove it, for some reason, this one comes off the best on my eyelashes. And I don't have to get any dark circles off my skin. It's like a plastic tube that just kind of comes off. No. Similar to like the Brooklyn yeah. Beauty one. Okay. And now I just need like a lip. But it's a good one. Frank's kicking the shower. You need some attention, buddy? No? Okay, so they're aligned, and then I take the lip velvet. It is like the most satiny. I probably need to buy new ones. I've had these for over a year. I think you're supposed to replace your makeup every year, right? If you don't use it all. But they're just so pretty. And sometimes if I'm feeling a little crazy, or I want my lips to be extra pretty. I don't know. <laughs> a little extra. I'll pull out these um, Babe Lash Plumping Lip Jellies and put it over. It takes away some of the matte effect, but it makes your lips just kind of warm. But it actually works. Like my lips kind of get like, it doesn't hurt like some of the other ones I've tried. It just gets a little warm, mm -hmm. but then they really do like plump up. You mean blessed? I'm so grassed. Yeah. There's a song we've been listening to. I'm so blessed. Very beautiful. And I think that's what it means. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, I'm gonna go over to the storage unit and I'm gonna find any decorations we have. There's like one or two more bins somewhere. I don't, I think I, I know which one they would be in if they were there. No, I think they're over at the storage unit. April. Pozole, our favorite Mexican dish. It's so thing. much going into it. Um, These are the garnishes. The bacon, the, end. the pork, avocado, the lime, cilantro, radish. all the things, all the things. I'm gonna so, start making it. Um, April's working on that. We we have won a chili cook-off before with pozole, and they didn't know exactly what it was. It's it's not even a chili, but we enter it in chili cook-offs. What? Um, this something. Yeah, that's true. What? Bingo, bingo. Yeah. Bingo, bingo? Yeah. Okay. Most of the time people are just like, what is, what is this? Because they've never heard of it, they've never tasted it, unless you like, know. It's you don't so know. good. Like, you know, you know. That's what they like to say. Okay, hello old friends. We've got pit balls, we've got my tools, we got balls, we got Frank, we got the snowman, we got some costumes, photo booth, Treadmill. Oh, how I miss you. A little bit longer, my friend. And that. Huh. And that. Hood that we have to sell, but nobody wants to buy. Can't return it. I. It was not easy. I had to un bear, unbury a lot of stuff. It was back in the very back corner. I had to access it, but I found another Halloween bin. So, <sighs> that's good. Okay, Frank, what did we find? Yeah. Who's that? Um, boogie boogie. Mr. Oogie Boogie. What's he got on his mouth? Spiders? Okay, listen, 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 listen. We went over to the storage unit and I dug and I dug and I dug and I dig deeper and I dig deeper and I dig deeper and I found our other two Halloween bins. So we have even more decorations for the bus and I brought and I bought dry ice and it's gonna be the best Halloween ever. Are you excited? Uh -huh. Wait, you have our zombie? Did you find it? Which zombie? The zombie in the ground. The guy, the ground guy. Yeah, we're putting him on the couch. Wait. 
It'll work, trust me. You'll see when we get home. What is happening? Are you taking her? No, I just. Want her. <laughs> Good dog! <laughs> Cookie, come here! Cookie, come here! Go outside! Cookie, go outside! Girl! <laughs> Who's riding on your bum? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Go outside, stuff. go party. Come on, Cookie. She's not having it. She's like, save me, mommy! Go party. Come on, Cookie! <laughs> oh, it's a good girl. She's a good girl. Good job, yeah. <laughs> Hello. She's <laughs> so bad. Okay, well. Okay, pozole and toppings, the bus, and all the people. All we need now is the bus to start. The bus better start. Oh, bus, please start. Wait, did you move the trailer? Yeah. It's dead. It's cold. It is a little cold. I mean, you haven't been plugging it in. Are you going to run an extension cord across the street in the winter? Listen, I went with the classic witch because I wanted to be comfortable. I was about to put Elsa on and I was like, I might have a kitty. So Evie and I are twinners or matchers. And then Frank is Sebastian, and we have Ariel, the real life Ariel. Her hair isn't like, that's really her hair. <laughs> you guys know that. And Daisy went with a good old fashioned skeleton, and Dad's gonna be this. Zade had ballroom tonight. He misses out on a lot of family things now. He's just growing up. It's just kind of the circle of life. <sighs> Breaks my heart. I don't know what I'm gonna do the first time he has to work when we go on like a trip or something and he's just like, I'm sorry, I can't go. Or when he goes to college yeah. or a mission, like that's gonna be so weird. Uh, I have to build up the air before I can drive. Why does it have to happen? <laughs> okay, Amy, let's see what you got. Yep, I'll hold it, here you go. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh. Better watch out. Oh my gosh, that's a good shot. Come on. Okay, trunk or treat. Hey! Okay. You wanna go trick or treat again here? Pretzels are candy. <laughs> Thanks for having a life. Oh, yes. <laughs> Trick or treat, one more time. There you go. Okay, the Halloween party is over. That was kind of fast and crazy and I was keeping the bus going, but we decided to come over to the house for a little bit. They're getting started on the mudding. We'll come over here in the daytime so we can see it, but they are just getting going, getting some of the corners on and Ready. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, here's the candy haul from the trunk or treat. Daddy! Not as much as you can get. Daddy! Pretty good. Daddy, Pretty good um, and I'm not going to share candy with me. I'm not going to share candy with you? Yeah. Okay. Looks pretty good. Oh, guys, that was fun. I think it's definitely going to be a new tradition. Um, a little crazy running it by myself, but uh, it was fun. Everybody enjoy enjoyed it and appreciated it. And um, the only request was that there be a few jump scares. So I'll have to try to arrange for the kids to come scare some people. In it. Uh, about tonight... <laughs> My pozole won a chili cook-off again, third place. But for a not chili soup to win in a chili cook-off, I think for third place is actually pretty incredible. So this is, I won first place the first time I brought a chili cook-off, the pozole to chili cook-off. The next time I brought it, I won second place, and then this time I won third place. Different places every time, but 
Telling you, you guys, it's not a chili, so I feel like I'm cheating a little bit, but it is delicious. So, pretty funny when I won third place and we were at the New Ward and nobody really knows us. And so I think I was like laughing the whole way up there because they were like, they announced April Orgill, third place. And I think everyone was probably like, who is that? <laughs> well, what? now they're gonna know I make third place soup. <laughs> Davey says, well, I'm surprised you weren't disqualified because you're not even in that ward. It's like an implant. It's like you can't transfer to a high school and compete in high school sports. Like but I did. Now. Like, I'm surprised they let her win. She See, didn't even mention. Why, that's probably why it's third place, though, because they were like, she's not even in the ward, guys. We can't give her She probably should have won I first place. But no, like, actually, we can't, I tried the implant. chili that won first place. It was delicious. <laughs> Super fun night. That's trunk or treat number one. We got another one coming, then Halloween. So... Gonna end the vlog now. Thanks for watching. Find good in everything, and we'll see you tomorrow. Find good in everything.